Hello and welcome to the Bindi Kitchen. Today I want to talk about smoothies. So I am a huge believer in a really healthy whole foods diet. A lot of it's plant-based that I eat. Um, but alongside the, the whole foods, I really think there's a great spot for smoothies in any diet and especially for athletes as well. So what I want to do today is to show you uh, a couple of ways of making a really healthy smoothie and tailoring it to what you need. But also I just want to quickly explain to you why I think they can be so helpful and why they're really important to use. So firstly, I just want to talk about protein. So in recovery, protein, we all know by now that that's actually really important in recovery. It kickstarts your muscle development. But I think what a lot of people now also miss is carbohydrates. So um, I've got bananas, honey, blueberries, some milk here as well. So the carbohydrates in recovery are what are going to um, restore your glycogen, your muscle glycogen stores, and also support your immune system. So every time you train, your immune system takes a dip, and so the quicker you can get in that healthy um, supply of, of glycogen back into your muscles, it supports your immune system to, to pick up again, and then you can recover and get ready for the next training session. So everything we're doing is getting you recovered, ready to train again. So um, the perfect recovery smoothie, I guess that's what we're looking at today. We'll go through other smoothie recipes, but today I just want to show you the perfect recovery smoothie. And so to do that, I basically start with a base of milk. So I'm using almond milk. Um, you can use whatever you like, coconut milk, um, soy milk, or just regular full fat milk, whatever actually suits you, you can use. So we start with that and then always a serve of protein. So the protein that we have at Bindi is an organic pea protein. The reason why we choose that, it keeps you fuller for longer than whey protein. Um, and it also is very easy to digest. And so you don't get those problems. You know, some people with lactose intolerance, for example, can have a lot of trouble digesting protein. So, um, so a serve is, is about three tablespoons, basically. Um, I'm using vanilla, which I think goes really nicely in smoothies. It's really versatile. Um, you, of course, can make a chocolate smoothie. We'll do that another day. So check out those as well. Um, look, some blueberries as well. Um, you can put any sort of berries you want in there. It's just great for flavour. These ones are actually frozen. I haven't defrosted them. And then, of course, that makes it nice and um, cold when you're having your smoothie as well. So banana, just the perfect food for athletes, basically. And um, also, I'm going to just pop in some honey. And this beautiful honey is actually from my brother-in-law. Um, now, you know, I normally wouldn't eat a whole lot of honey, but in that recovery phase, you know, you need the carbohydrates. So something like this is just a really healthy way to, to get some extra sugars and extra carbohydrates to replenish what you've already used. So look, um, I keep it really simple. I basically mix in my little, my blitz and go. I think it was, um, I don't know, maybe $30 um, to buy, but it's just so easy because you can basically blitz it all in one go. So, give it a couple of goes like that and mix it up. And so that's about it really. Um, so a really nice smoothie. Now I will actually make this um, before I go training sometimes so it's ready to go, keep it in the fridge. Or the other thing is when you're um, on the road, you know, I'll take it in as a meal replacement as well. So if I know I'm traveling, I live three hours from Perth and quite often have to travel there. So I'll actually take that as a meal. So it's a really yummy, easy um, meal supplement as well. So there you go, the perfect recovery smoothie. We can, we've tried it with vanilla and next time I'll show you a chocolate one, but it's just the ultimate recovery fuel.